Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. As you saw from the title, this is a Sephora haul. So I have lots of goodies that I picked up recently from Sephora. Sephora does have like the sale going on for some reason on the weekends. I don't know if it's every weekend or if it's just a couple weekends that it was, but I did see that they were having a sale that anything that's in the clearance section was an additional 40% off. And I was like, what? Yeah, count me in. So I stopped by my local Sephora inside JCPenney's. I think it has to be the one inside JCPenney's as well, but I'm not positive. So I did stop by there to see what kind of goodies they had, and I come out with a big old bag full of goodies. So let's get started, and I'll tell you guys everything that I picked up, and then I think I can give you a price breakdown too to tell you guys, because I do have my my receipt with me. So I'll tell you guys how much I paid for it all, hopefully. So I'll show you kind of an order, hopefully, on the receipt. So the first thing I picked up is the Sephora collection the glitter o'clock brush set so here is the brush set what it looks like it is very pretty i haven't opened this yet i'm anxious to open it because i'm like hopefully they're soft so let's go ahead and pop her open here this was 54 dollars and then after the discount it was 32 dollars. i felt like that was a great deal because considering i think initially does it tell you the normal price it was normally 78 dollars. so i got it for more than half off which is amazing uh, maybe I don't know if we're gonna be able to open this or not guys oh my gosh the struggle to open a box why can't they make things easy to open holy smokes sorry guys oh my gosh cheese and crackers okay I just want to feel them oh my gosh I can't even pull them out of the container Whew, they're really stuck in there these feel very heavy so they're they have a good weight to them they're super, super soft, so this is a nice, big, fluffy brush, so they smell a little weird, so they need a little bath, so they will get a bath before I use them, but I think they're really nice. They seem nice, and for 30 bucks for a whole set, I feel like it was a great value, so I'm going to try to get the container out so I can show you guys what the container looks like. Ugh, I should have eaten spinach for dinner. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. There it goes. Whew. That took some effort. So here's what the container looks like. Whoa, is this completely closed? How does this work? What? What is this, guys? I'm confused now. Oh, it opens like that. Oh, that's cool. It's got a mirror inside and everything. Sorry, my phone just decided to go ahead and blow up. Hang on one second. Um, let me see. Make sure I turn this off. Sorry, it's my son trying to figure out who's picking him up from practice. Okay, moving on. So let's go ahead and get started with the next item. The next thing is, turn my phone off now, I promise. Okay, there we go. Sorry guys, it's a little bit of a chaotic mess here today. Okay, the next thing I picked up is the Glam Glow, this is the Gift Sexy Glow Set. So you get the Clarifying Hydrating Makeup Setting Illuminating. So this is $44 value. It was marked down to $22. And so then I got it for, oh, where's the price? Super Glow Kit, $13.20. That was an excellent value, I thought, because you are getting the Super Clearing Mud Treatment. You're getting the Glam Glow Little Cleanser. You're getting the Glow Starter, which I've been wanting to try this anyway. And then you get the Glow Starter, like the cream. So this works really well for like as a primer. So I love to try all this out. The only one I haven't really tried is this one. So that's the one I'm most interested in trying. So super excited and for 13 bucks, heck yeah. The next thing I picked up are some perfumes. So I picked up two sets of this right here. So this is the Toka, Florence, Juliet, and Stella. I think that's what it says, Stella something. Yeah, Stella. So the Florence, Juliet, and Stella perfumes, and it's a, was on, it was $10. They marked it down to five. So then I paid a whopping, how much did we pay for this? This I paid, where is it at? Uh, oh gosh, I don't even see it. Of course, two, three dollars. I paid three dollars for it. So good value. $3. Is that right? If it's 40% off? Yeah, that's right. Durr. Okay. So you do, these are spray types though. So if you've ever tried the Toka fragrances, they smell amazing. So I thought these would be perfect to kind of throw in my purse because they are spritzes. They're not roller balls. So these are perfect to travel with. Then I also picked up this little set. This is the Toka Florence Cleopatra and Julieta. The Cleopatra is the one that I really love. Cleopatra smells amazing. 
<clears throat> this one was $15. I think these are roller balls and this was marked down to $7.50. And then my final price that I paid for it was, um, where is it at? Toka Darlings, $4.50. So excellent value, I thought, in my opinion. So I don't think, yeah, these are roller balls. So these will be even better to travel with because our spritzers, I always worry that they're actually gonna start spraying in my purse and then it's like, great, now my purse is full of perfume. The next thing I picked up is something from Kat Von D. I picked up the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Brush and Case. So I haven't opened this yet either. So this was on sale for $17. I don't know what the normal price was. The normal price was $34. I paid $10.20 for it. So for a Kat Von D brush, I thought, mm, yes. So let's open her up and see what she looks like. Maybe. They always make things so hard to open. I should have brought, oh, you know what? I was just getting ready to complain. I should have brought scissors. I have scissors. These are super sharp too. These are like ones for scrapbooking. So they will cut your fingers off. Literally, <laughs> they're so sharp. So get it out of here. Oh my gosh. I'm all fingers today. Okay, here we go. It's wrapped nice and neatly so that it's not going to get damaged, which is great. But I want to get to it. So it looks like a coffin case a little bit. That's a little bit weird. And then you open it and your brush is inside of here. So I have the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Set. So this I thought would be perfect to use with that. And for that price, I couldn't pass it up. The next thing I picked up is <clears throat> this right here. This is the Marc Jacobs Party Animal Set. So you get three different enamored high shine lip glosses in here. You're gonna get um, Super Dupa Fly, Ra Ra, and Sugar Sugar. And these were $12.50 and then I purchased them for, they were normally $25. I purchased them for $7.50. So fantastic value for Marc Jacobs. Marc Jacobs, I do love these. These work really well. I got the Christmas set and I love that set, especially I think it's Snake Charmer. Is that the one I like? That one's a really nice. It's the one that kind of color changes. Then I picked up an Urban Decay lipstick in the shade Hideaway, and it was $8.50. And these were marked down to $5.10 after the discount. So $5 for an Urban Decay lipstick, that is cheap. That is like drugstore pricing. So here's what it looks like, the container, and here's what the shade looks like. I love the shade, it's like a mauve. So I'm gonna swatch it for you. Oh, that's pretty. That's a pretty shade. It smells like a typical Urban Decay lipstick, a little bit powdery then I picked up she gave me a ton of samples too she was so awesome there at Sephora so then I also picked up the shade what is this Bobby Dazzled what it's a metallicized it's not really a color I don't think we'll see this one was also five dollars and ten cent after the discount so all of these were five dollars and ten cent which like I said that's drugstore pricing I think this is not really a color no it's just a white color I think it's just like a topper um, I don't even know what this is for guys. I have no idea. Like I just put it here and you can see it just a little bit. Let's see what happens if you put it over top of the, the other one. Um, it does a little bit. I don't really see much. This one's probably going to be kind of a bust. Let's see. Oh, on the lips, it's really pretty. Oh yeah. I like it on the lips swatched it's just not doing justice for it so I like it on the lips but swatched it's not that great then I picked up another one in the shade this is the one lady flower so lady flower looks like this and I'll swatch it for you as well I'm opening them from the bottom because it's easier to open that way <laughs> do you guys open your makeup wrong too okay and lady flower is like a pretty pinky purple and let's swatch it oh this one's more of a sheer so here's what it looks like right here. That's perfect for spring summer looks. I like that shade. I like the Urban Decay lipsticks. I think they're really good. So, and I think the containers are pretty awesome. Then I also picked up the shade, gosh, I got a lot. Then I picked up the shade Hideaway. Did I get two Hideaways? Seriously, Tiffany? Yep, you did. Good job, Tiff. Okay, so maybe I'll save one for a giveaway or something because I don't think I need to try two out. Then I also picked up the shade Brett. This is the one I heard Coffee Break with Danny talking about, and I was like, ooh, that sounds really pretty. So here's what it looks like. Let's open it up. It's like a very light baby pink, and then I'll swatch it. I'll swatch it on the other side. Oh, that's actually really pretty. I like that. Hopefully it'll look good on my lips. I don't know. We'll have to see. So that is Brat. 
And then let me throw the empty containers away so I don't keep picking those up. And then I picked up a Kat Von D. This is the Studded Kiss, and I picked up the shade. Uh, I have no idea what that says. Buhas. I think that's what it says. Buhas. Hopefully it'll focus for you guys so you can see what it says. I don't even have any clue what that's saying. Um, don't know. It's like a purple shade. So this was $12. And then after the discounts and everything, this was, let's see, Kat Von D, Kat Von D, Kat Von D, Kat Von D. Where are we at? I don't see. Here we go. This was $4.80. So this was even cheaper. Whoa. So this was $21 marked down to $13. And then it came out to 480. Okay. That's interesting. Interesting. That one's cheaper than the Urban Decay. Ooh, that's a bright purple. I didn't realize how bright that was. Ooh, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to wear this shade or not. Ooh. Okay, this one's a little bit um it's like skipping, not really skipping, but it's hard to put down on my arm. There's what it looks like. It's not as bright on the swatch as it is in the, or it's bold in here. It's more, a little bit more brighter on the swatch. So they all look very pretty. So I'm excited about playing with all of those. Let me wipe off my swatches now. Okay, good. Now we have, I picked up the Sephora. This is the cleansing cream and the, the scent rose. I was going to say the flavor, <laughs> the scent rose. So this is for your eyes and your face. I've tried their cleansing creams before and they're actually pretty good. And this was like super, super affordable. This was on sale for $4. And then after the discount and everything, this was on sale for $2.25. So I thought for $2, it's definitely something I can pick up and either travel with or just use at home, either one. Because it's a 1.69 ounce container, so it would be perfect to travel with if you're flying or something like that. Then I got some Kat Von D. Whoops. These are the Kat Von D little eyeshadows. So I picked up four of those, I think. Let me, maybe, let me double check my bag here. Yep, I got four of those. So I have four of the Kat Von D Metal Crush shadows. So I have the shade, um, what is this one? Raw Power. So Raw Power is like a, almost like a burgundy color with purple in it I don't know let's watch it we'll see so here's what it looks like there's the shade what it looks like in the pan and then oh my gosh they're so soft and then swatched it looks oh it's really pretty it's like a rust red it's really pretty oh my gosh look at that that is gorgeous can't wait to play with that one then I picked up the shade um Iggy so Iggy is like the green shade Let's open these. These were $10.50 and they were marked down to $6.30 for a Kat Von D shadow. And they're normally $21 a piece. So I thought that was a fantastic value. But I didn't want to go overboard. So I only got four because I got I just did a declutter. So here's what it looks like. It's a very pretty green shade, like an emerald green. And then swatched. Oh my gosh, look at that shade. That is like a perfect summer beachy color. Ooh, that swatch came out really not so good. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, I like that color. Heck yeah, can't wait to try those. Then I also picked up a blue shade and this one is Paranoid. So Paranoid is the blue shade. And this one looks really bright. It reminds me of a Mustang for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe somebody I knew had a Mustang this color. I have no idea, but that's what it reminds me of. And let's swatch it. Oh my gosh, look how bright that is. That is a bright, bright blue. Look how pretty that is. Look at these colors together, actually. They're very pretty. So I would actually wear those colors together, but I'm a clown, so. Then the last one is a more of a reddish shade, I guess. This one's in the shade Dose. Dose? Douche? I have no idea. D-O-C-E, Dose, Dose. Dose is D-O-S-E, though, right? I, I don't know. It just looks really pretty. It's like a rust. That's what color it looks like. So here's what it looks like in the pan and then swatch. Ooh, that was like a lot of kick up there just by swatching it. Look at all that kick up. Can you see that? That's crazy. And then, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. These are all gorgeous. They remind me of the ones that are in her, the long palette, the, what is that one called? The metal crush palette. No, the matte metal. That's what they remind me of. They remind me of those, those bright, beautiful shades. Oh my gosh, they stain too. So my hands are a little bit blue green now. <laughs> so awesome and then the last thing I picked up is this right here this is the Stila aqua glow serum concealer I've never tried this before and I got it in the shade light medium hopefully that shade will work for me 
And then this was on sale for $13.50. And then after the discount and everything, I got it for <laughs> maybe $8.10. So this was eight bucks. Again, these are like drugstore prices, I felt like. So here's what it looks like. It's just in this little container here. I'm hoping this is not a, no, it's not, it's new. Cause it has this little thing on the back here where it says light medium. And typically when you see them like that, that's like a one that they use in the store for samples or not samples, but um, demos. Oh, it's got a lot of oil in the tip. Oh, gotta shake it or something. There's a lot of oil sitting right at the tip of it. Oh yeah, there's a lot of oil that came out first. Okay, this is very serum-like. So there's the one with a lot of oil in it, and here's this one. It's very, very yellow and very runny, so mm, this might be a fail. I don't know, I'll have to try it. I can't really fail it yet, obviously, because I haven't really tried it, but it's very runny, and it's got a lot of oil just like sitting in it for some reason. Oh, I did get this too. This is the Sephora, the Stylographic Dramatic Line in the shade um, <laughs> black. So it's just a dramatic liner in the shade black. So that'll be good because I love liners. I think liners are really great, especially the liquid liners. Those are perfect for me because I feel like I can do a better job, especially if it's like a, like a brush tip. Felt tips I have a hard time with. It starts to kind of skip on my eyelid for some reason. Then <clears throat> she threw in some little samples here. So she threw in three samples. Is it three or is there more? Oh, no, there's more. There's another one. So she threw in four samples. So she threw in the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Setting Spray. So this will be perfect for me to travel with. Then she also threw in the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover. This is an excellent one to remove makeup. I don't think it's like the best, but it's it, it'll work in a pinch. Then we have the Dr. Jart Water Fuse little sample. And then also a Kat Von D, the Locket Setting Powder. So I just recently got rid of my big one of these, so I got a small one now. So I guess I, it was meant to be for me to keep it. So anyway, that is everything in my 40% off Sephora haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know, did you catch some of the things in the clearance haul thing too? Did you guys go pick up some? I don't know if it's going on again this weekend or not. If it is, then I'll leave it in the description box below if I find out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Mm -hmm.